Welcome to the Cubify Q and A. Uh, me and Kev thought we would do this just because there's been a few questions since the launch of Cubify, um, whether that be on the CAF or Facebook and Instagram. So we wanted to make sure that you uh, know as much as you can before purchasing and uh, help you out with those questions. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go through some questions. Kev, you've got some questions there. Did you want to kick off? Yeah, sure. So uh, one of the questions were, are the letters for the celebrity reveals um, the ones that you've got to use in performance or do you receive a bunch of letters for custom reveals? So I don't know if you want to start uh, answering that one and then I'll jump in. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So the uh, the letters you get will um, allow you to make up the Cubify system, but then you're going to get a bunch of spares as well. Um yeah, so the, the the system's designed with a certain number of letters, but like I say, wanting to provide you with with more. Um, so yeah, what would you say about that, Kev? So yeah, so uh, so I I actually counted the letters. So there's we provide two hundred and eighty four letters, range go. from A, uh, a to Z, um, and obviously you need fifty or so to to set it up for Cubify as in the trailer. If you want to build in all of those reveals, because there's actually like six different reveals that are built into the cube um now you could obviously design if you wanted to do a custom reveal knowing kind of like how it works you could set the cube up to do those custom reveals but you're more likely going to limit yourself to like one or two reveals rather than the six that are built into the cubify system but it is possible yeah great okay um let's talk about the one uh, question that keeps coming up is is skill level so a couple of questions i've seen is is it like the enchanted cube is it a bit more like cube three what you know what where where are we with cube of five kev what where, where do we sit yeah so i would say in terms of like um gimmickless cube stuff this is probably the easiest gimmickless uh cube stuff you can do because essentially you've only got to learn four moves now, uh, if you're already fairly adept with moving the cube, you'll be able to do this pretty much instantly. If you've never picked up a cube before, then it would take a little bit of practice just to kind of get your fingers um, moving the cube. But if I just grab a cube, uh, here's a, an unsticker cube. But essentially, you're just doing four moves like that. Now, obviously, in performance, you don't want to be doing it with one hand, but I'm going to do exactly the same moves with two hands and it's going to look like that so that is all you've got to be able to do to yeah, be able to yeah. perform cubify and do all of the reveals yeah i mean like kev said if, if you if you've just literally bought your very first rubik's cube and you take it out of the box you know just holding the cube in a certain way and getting dexterity your fingers is going to take a little bit of time but in regards to our routine as uh, as we've said and as Kev's just said uh, as well, it is it is four moves and you know it is very very simple, which is why we put the uh, the skill level um, at, at as what it is. Um, so yeah, hopefully that answers questions about skill level. Um, what you got? What questions you got, Kev? So uh, someone else put, I love the idea, but as a hobbyist, I have a limited number of participants available to tend to buy tricks that can be shown again after a period of time. Yeah. Um, and obviously the cool thing about Cubify is that we have got those multiple reveals built in. So it is possible you could perform it on one occasion. You could then use the, obviously the same cube and you could have a different outcome. Um, and there's those four core reveals that are built in. So you could do it essentially four times and have a different outcome every single time. So I think that's the nice thing about uh, Cubify is that you can just do it once to one person and have one reveal and then do it to other people. Or if you did have a group of people, you could potentially do like a multiple revelation type performance. Yeah. Yeah. It's all, it's all about options, isn't it? And that's what we wanted to do. Um, we wanted to give people options to be able to do multiple revelation routines or a single revelation routine. And with Cubify, you've got 
you know, you've got a bunch of different options uh, that you, you can choose. There's also some extra reveals built in, which we run you through how to do on the, on the project, which are kind of off of the main kind of system, but they're still very easy to do. So it kind of goes off slightly, but it's, it's like a, almost like a bonus that's built into the system. Should you then want to do more reveals? Yeah. Have you so, got another question? Or yeah, yeah, I'll fire one away. Let's go for it. So, um, what what's included? Do you get cube with this, or what what is it? Yeah, so uh, so in the package, you get provided with the stickers to be able to sticker up your cube ready to go. So you can go from having uh, a standard cube like this, yeah, to having a cube which is all stickered up with the letters. And the the nice thing is that you'll notice that the stickers are actually all look in a different orientation. So they're not all in the same orientation when you're just in the solved position of the cube. And we use that as part of the, the routine as well, don't we? That not only yeah. do you have to move the pieces around, you've also got to reorientate them in the right way uh, as well. But just to clarify, you don't get a cube with Cubify because we wanted to give people the options. Like Kev is a, a Rubik's Cube enthusiast. I think we would we would say uh, he's a he's a Cuba a hardcore Cuba, whereas I'm more of a, a magician type Cuba, uh, and we've all got our different cubes which we which we prefer. So with Cubify, you can um, sticker up your existing cube, or you can go out and buy a cube that you want to get because of this uh, because of this project, um, and. It, the, the system basically overlays on top of any standard three by three Rubik's cube. That's right. Yeah. Um, ranging from like 55 mil to like 57, 58 mil, which are kind of like the range of standard cubes. Um, so you get the sticker pack. You also obviously get the uh, access to the tutorial. You get the box. So you get the custom uh, design box, which your cube can then go in ready for performance. And as along with the stickers, you also get a sticker guide. Now, uh, this comes in an A4 sheet, uh, but the way that it's been designed is that you can cut it out and you can actually build up a paper. This is just a paper cube. Um, if you want it to, to help you whilst you're sticking it up to know the, the correct orientation whilst you're stickering the cube up. So uh, that is an option as well if you wanted to do that. Yeah, great. Um, okay, let's have a little look what else we've got. Uh, setup time. How long does it take to get yourself ready? Once you open the Cubify out the box, how long is it going to take to be up and running to be able to do the Cubify routines? So um, obviously you need to stick up the cube. I would estimate that's going to take you about 10 minutes to do. Uh, yeah. If you're being like super careful and you want them looking exact and in the correct orientation. Um, but once you've done that, um, it's going to take you a minimum amount of time just to put the the tape, the double-sided tape that we provided to build up the box. And then it's just a matter of looking at the, the tutorial. But if you've already got my previous effect cube cards, then you will also already know the stack that's used in this. And if you can already do that, you'll be able to do this instantly. It's not going to take you any time to learn it. Um, because if you do the same stack as cube cards, it's literally using the same thing. Yeah, and, and to be fair as well, I think magicians who buy Cube Magic now are used to stickering things up uh, because pretty much every single Rubik's Cube gimmick you buy now, you do have to sticker to some degree. So um, this is no different, you know, as Kev said, it's really simple. And Kev shows a, a couple of different ways on the project of putting the stickers on easier than just using your, your fingers. So, um, so yeah, all those little tips and tricks are included in the uh, in the two and a half hour um, instructional, which people have started to refer to as a monster of a project, which is uh, if you're into Rubik's cubes, yeah, you're gonna get you're gonna get you're gonna love it. It's, you're gonna get deep dived into it into the world of Rubik's cubes, and um, you're gonna make it out the other end okay. That's it. And, and to be fair, we've got half an hour of like live performances, so half an hour of that is is just live performances. So you can see it's actually going out and performing it just to get you give you an idea of how it goes down and maybe some performance ideas that you might want to take on board yeah exactly that so uh, let's have a little look on the uh, list so uh, can you use this with other rubik's cube routines so let's say i'm a magician and i like to go out and perform i don't know some of uh, the popular rubik's cube matching effects um, what how, how will i integrate that with with cubify 
Yeah, well, I think that the nice thing about it is that once you've uh, stickered up a cube ready to go, um, you can still easily see the colours. So if you wanted to use it for other stuff you normally do with the cube, like gimmickless stuff, you can. If you use gimmicks and you want to switch out, that's why we provided the sticker. So you could get like the same looking cube that might fit other gimmicks that you're using. And you could use that as well. So that's why it's kind of, you know, anyone can use it depending on what they do already. And it will easily integrate into what you already do. Yeah. So um, with the questions I had, um, they're all the questions I had. Did you have anything? Sure. Yeah, I've got. So one, um, some other cubers kind of thought, ah, oh, um, well, the only possible thing that could happen is if this is genuinely mixed up, um, and you could totally avoid that by by following the tutorial. Um, but if someone did take it, mix it up, or if you're doing other stuff and mixing it, the only potential situation you have is where these centerpieces could actually rotate. Mm -hmm. And if you've ever picked up one of those picture cubes, like the mosaic cubes with photos on, that's the the thing that's tricky about it because the centerpiece does rotate. Now, there's a couple of easy fixes for that. So if um, you don't want to learn how to do it manually, you can just pop out the centerpieces, rotate them and pop them back in. It's as easy as that. Um, or if you are more of a cube when you want to learn an algorithm to do that, um, if you search on YouTube, I think you put in something like Super Cube uh, Tutorial, um, which is uh, videos which talk about the ones with, that are stickered. So you've got to get it in the correct orientation. There is an algorithm that you can learn that will orientate the centerpieces. So if you're interested in doing that, again, you could do that without having to, to take the centerpieces off. Yeah. And to be fair as well, like um, on there's a bonus video on the project as well about bonus sort of routine that I, that I do in the way I perform Cubify nowadays. And I sometimes intentionally will flip that piece so that I don't get necessarily a perfect solve every single time um, yeah. to try and make it's a bit like that off by one kind of principle. Exactly, yeah. Um, so you've got options if you want to do that. Or even if you forgot and then it ended up accidentally flipped, you could just use that presentation. Oh, it is, you know, I didn't get it perfect. And it doesn't really matter. You just, you know, move on and and carry on. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then just there was like a, a question about, oh, how do you like force a particular person or, you know, one of the reveals that we've built into the cubes? I don't know if you want to. Uh, yeah of course so th there's there's lots of different ways of doing it the, the the preferred way that we do it now is on a um on a playlist on on the phone and we show different ways of doing it so you would just bring up a playlist on your on your phone you set one up we show you what to do um and essentially you're going to shuffle the the songs in in front of people and then they're going to select one at random but actually it's a force. It's a really nice organic way of doing it because you only need to take your phone and take the cube with you and you can do the routines. Um, you can use cards, playing cards. We talk about external products that you, you can purchase or you'll see on the trailer, on the live performances, I just use a, a double blank bicycle deck and I just write them on there and I just force the, uh, the names that way. But you could also use digital force bag um real list by greg rustami um there's some apps by mark kirstein that you could also use as well um I'm, am i missing any kev uh, i mean there's a ton of options in there like i think any i mean you could even use a sven pad if you wanted to so yeah. literally any force method you wanted to use um you can use in this but the nice thing is is certain force methods because there is so many reveals built into uh cubify you don't it doesn't have to be you don't necessarily have to force one item it could be like you could have like a bank so that's why kind of you can be a little bit more flexible with it that way yeah exactly and to be fair you could just use a standard deck of cards and just write stuff on the backs as well and a force card that that way and then when they turn it over it's got the, the celebrity on there so there's different ways of doing it but um but yeah it's pretty straightforward from the forcing point of view but we do run through it all so yeah. yeah, and I think that yeah, I think that was kind of they were the the, the main questions that uh, people have posted. Um, so hopefully we've covered everything. But yeah. um, uh, obviously this video is going live. But if anybody's got any other questions, they can just comment on this post or um, just 
send a message to us and we'll get back to you and then we can sort of like add it to the bottom of this video in the notes or whatever of, of any of the questions people have submitted and we'll get back to them yeah great um so yeah as kev said they are the kind of main questions but uh thank you everybody for your support with cubify so far uh we are very very proud of the project and uh we're already starting to get some really great feedback from people now that are uh, actually physically have the product in their hands now that it's been a, in a, in a, been officially released but um hopefully that helps until next time we will see you again thanks a lot bye bye cheers everyone